hello friends welcome to sql server uh, tutorial in this video we are going to talk about uh, subquery so subqueries are useful to solve some of the complex problems and uh, we will see how to use a subquery in this uh, video So when we talk about subquery, there are two parts. One is main query. So the main query actually runs the subquery. So the main query actually runs the subquery. Based on the subquery's return result or whatever the subquery returns, main query will decide what to fetch from the database or main query will decide what to do based on the subquery's return result. Main query cannot use a subquery's column value in the select list. So if you see main query is what running the subquery since because of that same reason main query cannot access columns from subquery. cannot use a subquery's column but a subquery can access the columns value from the main query so it can fetch values based on main query return row here if you see main query don't have access to column queried by the subquery let's state that main query is querying three columns c1 c2 and c3 and subquery is querying two columns s1 and s2 so main query cannot access these column s1 and s2 but subquery can access c1 c2 c3 say for example when it is forming the query as part of select it may be selecting S1 and S2 columns then it can use where condition and in that it can use a C1 equal to some if new column is there S3 it can compare like that or you can use a constant so all the stuff so what the point here is subquery can access the main queries column C1 C2 C3 so all it can access the below query gets all the book titles which is not yet sold here if you see we are using the pubs database and from titles table we are picking title id title the type from title table so we are making an alias as t here titles table where not exist here in the where condition we are using the not exist and for the not exist we are using the subquery the subquery is running inside here so if you see select star from sales or you can even use a single column here because the purpose is to see there exists any record in some other table so picking some data from the titles table so that's the main query here we can state this is select from this one is what called main query and where not exist here if you say select star from sales as yes where yes dot title id equal to t dot title id here if you see we are accessing the content from main query subquery can access main queries content or main queries select list or main queries column that's why here in the subquery we form subquery's title id and matching it with the main query as a title id so we can call this as a subquery if you see there are two table involved here 
one is title stable and we set alias as t for this one and subquery is on sales so what we are doing here is we are trying to print titles that is not yet sold yeah so in sales if there is no record that means the there is no sales entry for the title so here we are printing the title which is not yet sold so what happens is let's state that this is the title table and let's state that titles table is having four records then we have sales table so this is also having some records so how it works is first what happens in main query scanning will be done so in main query we are picking title id title and type title id title and type let's state like that for each record it will access the subquery so when it is running the subquery say for example this is the first record for this first record it is running the subquery select star from sales as yes where yes dot title id equal to t dot title id so this title id is given and it performs a scan based on that so the operator here is not exist so if the scan doesn't return any row then where condition will get evaluated to true where not exist that what we are checking here so you can also use where exists but here our goal is to check where not exists so instead of not if you use where exists then the uh, aim of the query will be picking all the title which made at least one sales but here in this case we are picking the title that doesn't make any sales at all that's all we are achieving here uh, in the subquery a subquery can have one more subquery as well all right now let's go to the demo and see how the subquery is working okay let's see what is there in the sales table so these are all the records that's available in sales table if you see store id order number and how many quantity is sold and here we have the title say for example if i take this bu1032 we can check the title so the busy executives database guide is sold here and five quantity was sold or five quantity was ordered and the order date is here so is there a way to find the title which is not yet making any entry in this table or which is not sold at all or there is no order placed so far here we have 21 orders in the sales table if uh, a book doesn't make any sales we want to print that so for that we can use subquery here if you see we have a select statement we are picking three columns from the title table as t where not exist of i can just print only the title id also here or we can print any column let's state order number so the column here is not important why because we are checking exist or not exist so at least one record exists that's what we are checking anyhow here select order number from sales as is where s dot title id equal to t dot title id so t dot title id is from titles table so 
the query will run for each and every title first it will pick this title then from this title id the yeah, subquery will be run and if there is no record this condition will satisfy it right? because we are checking for not exist and if where condition satisfies then we will print all these three right that means the title id should not be there here all right now we will run this subquery so here if you see there are two title which is not yet sold uh, the titles are the psychology of computer cooking and net and net etiquette title ids are 3026 and 4 nines and if you want a crash check you can run the query below this time we will run both sub query and the sales query so if you see the sub query tells us that these two are the book which is not yet sold and when we check the title with these two ids mc3026 pc9999 we doesn't get any record that means these two books are not yet so not yet sold so that's why we don't have any entry in the sales table so that's all here this is main query and this one is the sub query and you can see sub query is accessing the main query scala in main query you cannot access sub query scala if you see what error it states is the multi-part identifier the start order number could not be found or because the main table don't have access to it all right that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye